Now, this has that's got these hose, these lines down here. That's the gas line, and I'm guessing at a certain point they came out with vacuum. With you know how they changed all the gas stations? Oh over the yeah, vacuum, to capture the vacuum. Well, that yeah. probably went to a, a vacuum canister. There's probably one right there. That might be a vacuum canister right there, instead of an electric pump. Uh, well, it's got wires running to it, so I'm yeah. guessing that's an. Well, that looks like an electric. I bet you these are gas. I bet you these are. I think back oh, in the day, oh. they, they had a little ca canister filled with charcoal. It was supposed to absorb all the evil wickedness yeah. out of the gasoline. Somebody run this whole hose here all the way to the back of the car, underneath the car. That's wrong. For the fuel gauge. Yeah, no. And I like everything to be captured up in there. That's well, a, Yeah, because that way when you drive off the trailer like I did yesterday, you won't rip your line off and set it yeah. on far. Okay. Yeah, and you're right. If that... If that don't leak, if, if you've got a line from here to there that don't leak, and if it does leak, then uh, I guess you'd have to fish your line. You can, you can, uh, you can take, let me go show you on that one. Let's walk out here. Birds are whistling at you, Mr. Peak. There's a little plate right here. And if you look inside that plate, shine yes. a flashlight in there, you can see down through that hole too. Oh. Now on this one, like I was like we were talking about the other day, they cut these little holes in it. And you there's nothing that would like if you wanted to replace that line, that mm -hmm. line it goes in there and it comes back here and it comes out right here. Oh. Yeah. All the way down this this uh, leg thing here. Yep. So you can imagine that's wow. probably a little of a tricky f bit of fittage. Yeah. But wow. if you were doing it in such a way, like if you had this open, uh huh. Let's just pull it open. I like that. That's handy for me. There you go. Oh, look at that. Here's uh, one of these lines is going to be like a throttle cable. This big one here is going to be your shifter. Yep. This one here is this big thing right here is a clutch cable. I'm guessing uh, well these these may be heater linkages too. Now when you're getting one of these to drive for a long ways, is it good to replace the clutch cable and the accelerator cable? Probably. This has got a new accelerator cable already. Yeah, either that or just look at it real good. You know, you want to Carry one with you, maybe. Uh, yeah, they're not that hard to replace. Ooh. Yeah, you can do that. Well, I'm glad it doesn't have them that Frasnan hydraulic clutch. Oh yeah, no. I've thing. lost lots of hair off them hydraulic clutch things. You don't believe in that? That's as, in, as invented by the communists. Yeah. They sent them over here. Encourage us all to go in the girls' bathroom. Oh my gosh! Of course I did yesterday, but I was just washing my hands. You're, you're, I know your gender identity. Man, you missed stepping in that. Woohoo! <laughs> I was going to catch you. Missing landmines. Well, you know we've all got stories you can't tell. All right. So you, what else? This one you already clued me in on taking the valve cover. Oh. That rocker, whichever, off. Yeah, and that's easy to do. In fact, if you want to, you, if you want to bring out one of them big quilts, you can quite literally get under the back of this thing and pop that thing out and have a quick look at it. Yeah. We're going to know if it's broken. We'll get my little lightweight jack and a piece of plywood. Oh, we're not going to do that today. We're going to have some fun today. All right, well, we can. I mean, it's just, it doesn't take no time at all to pop that off of there. Yeah. And have a look at it. And if it's broke, you're going to know it. Okay. Not at all. That's a cute little bugger. I like it. I wouldn't paint a big a lick of it. I might cover up where the rust is, but well, somebody's grounded in you don't know, it. Oh no. Well it sits up good too. You showed me how to jack up the front the back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can honey. Oh, little 
little stripping out here. It looks nice inside. You clean it up? Yeah, it was pretty clean when I got it. Yeah. You ain't even got enough rust for the water to drain out of your door there. No. I'm gonna have to shoot some holes in it. Get that goofy steering wheel off of there. I've got one on that red Volkswagen that was disseminated. There is one more option, I suppose. Man, I probably shouldn't tell you this with the camera running, but you see how that, that's a brake line that's running inside your car under the seat. Okay. Under seat back there. We're talking about that gas line going down through that tunnel. If you didn't want that gas line, Out of there, what's gonna happen? Nothing. Are you gonna ever kick it with your foot hard enough to break a metal line? No. no. I don't think if you dropped your cigarette near it, it would set it on fire. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. I don't know how to do that darn stupid seat. Well, that thing's supposed to lift this thing, but you can do it by hand. when you lift this, it lifts this. Yeah. Back in the back? Yeah. Is it in pretty good shape? I think it come out of Fort Ash, Arkansas. You know, it looks better than it looks on YouTube. Door's good. That's what I like the sound of them. Yeah. That's a nice little car. Yeah, they just look a chunk. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it ain't rusty. 